Our task 3 is about forward divided difference and central divided difference here again. So we have to estimate f derivative x at x is equal to 3 and that x is given to us as 2. And we are given some points instead of the function now. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. So I've written down the points here again for you to see while I'm working. And we have to calculate the first derivative of the function using the forward divided difference. So the formula we have is f of x plus delta x minus f of x here divided by delta x. So our x value is 3 plus delta x is 2 minus x is 3 divided by delta x is 2. So that gives us f of 3 plus 2 is f of 5 minus f of 3 divided by 2. And now the function when x is equal to 5 is here. So when x is equal to 5, f of 5 is 32. So we'll take the value 32 for this minus f of 3. So that would mean that x is equal to 3. And when x is equal to 3, what is f of 3? What is y? That's 8 here. So we have 32 minus 8 over 2. And that is 12. So that's the answer for the forward divided difference. And then we have to calculate now the central divided difference where the derivative of the function is approximately equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x minus delta x divided by 2 times delta x. So here we have f of x is 3 as written here and delta x is 2. So we have 3 plus 2 is 5 minus f of 3 minus 2 is 1 divided by 2 times delta x is 2 here. So we have here f of 5. So when x is equal to 5, f of 5 is 32. So that's 32 here minus f of 1 which means when x is equal to 1, the value of f is 2. So we'll take 2 here, divided by 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 3 divided by 4, which is equal to 7.5. That's the solution for the central divided difference.